Today we're going to take our audio from this and turn it into something like this. New York, New York. New York, New York. What's happening? It's Joey Papers Visionary Art Group. Future Proof of America 1 YouTube video at a time. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to get that real crispy, professional sounding audio for all of your projects. YouTube, music videos, short films, movies, all of that. I only have one disclaimer. So treat everybody's voice different, all right? Okay, so listen, I'm not telling you guys to go out and spend a ton of money on audio gear, but trust me. I highly suggest that you do. Audio and video is like a match made in heaven. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm currently using, my current setup, and how I edit audio to match my voice. So let's start my mic. My microphone I'm using is a NTG4 Plus. You guys can see that right here. It's made by Rode, and it's a directional shotgun microphone with a chargeable battery, all right? But this is my microphone. And this is the microphone I'm currently using. I pretty much researched this microphone off of YouTube, checked out some of the samples, some of the other YouTubers who was using it. And, um, you know, I thought it fit me, fit my budget, and fit my needs. You know, I also shoot short films and documentaries. So I will be using this microphone for that. Currently, I have the microphone placed, like, right in front of my face. If I touch it, I'm pretty much touching the microphone right here. It's, like, right here. So it's pretty close. But like I said, it is a directional microphone. Pretty much you can point it towards you and it picks up your voice clear, crispy. So that's pretty much the microphone I'm using. All right, the next piece of gear I have is a Zoom H6 handy recorder. Again, this is another piece of equipment that I bought that fit my needs, my budget, my wants. I'm pretty much taking my Rode microphone and running it into the Zoom recorder. The Zoom recorder has like four XLR inputs. So I'm running the microphone into one of those inputs and I'm pretty much using the preamps from the Zoom to boost that signal and help me capture a clean, crispy audio input. I want you guys to remember, you always want your audio coming in clean and going out clean. And that's pretty much what the Zoom H6 is helping me do. So that's pretty much it for the audio setup. So now I'm gonna take you guys into Adobe Premiere Pro and show you how I edit vocals, specifically how I edit my voice. All right, let's do it. All right, so once you open up your editor, and I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. You go ahead and drop your file onto your timeline. So I'm gonna drop my file on my timeline. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and find my audio file. I'm gonna take my audio file, drop that on the timeline as well. And the next step is pretty much where you synchronize your video file with your audio file. So, so we'll just go ahead and select all our files, right click and Adobe Premiere Pro has something called synchronize. It pretty much, it, it's pretty much a one click synchronizing step. And all that does is just synchronizes your audio files to where everything matches up perfect. So let's just go ahead and click synchronize. You're presented with this box, synchronize clips. Just leave everything as a default setting and click okay. Once you click okay, it processes the audio and you guys should see your audio files switch and shift and link up perfect. As you guys can see, it just now did that and pretty much everything is aligned perfect. So let's go ahead and play this back and see how our audio sounds, all right? This is the audio from the camera. All right, so that's pretty much the in-camera audio. So now let's play our audio from our Rode mic and our Zoom H6. I have to go out and spend a ton of money on some audio gear, but trust me, I highly, highly suggest that you do. All right? All right? That's pretty much how it sounds. Now, the next step is pretty much editing. Everybody's voice is very unique. So my settings may not work for the next guy. So I suggest you guys go ahead and find that sweet spot for your voice. Save it as a preset, especially if you guys are going to be recording in the same room over and over with the same mic setup, the same mic placement, same room reverb and all of that stuff. Presets will help you save time on the back end. So go ahead, find that sweet spot with your audio, save your presets, drag and drop. In my case, I recorded in the same room, same mic, same setup, same reverb setup, same noise cancellation setup, everything. So I pretty much got presets to where I drag and drop 
and my voice is sitting on top of the mix all right so let's go ahead and drop that stuff on my audio and I pretty much have a, a graphic equalizer and I also have a mastering preset and I also have a voiceover dynamic this is pretty much presets I made for my voice, but they're all individual effects built inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So now, since I dropped those on it, now let's play that back. Audio. Listen, I'm not telling you guys to go out and spend a ton of money on some audio gear, but trust me, I highly, highly suggest that you do. And that's how we sound with our effects and our Rode mic and Zoom H6. Professional, crispy audio. All right, so that's pretty much it, man. Hopefully this helps somebody. It's your Papers Visionary Art Group. Future Proof in America, one YouTube video at a time. Y'all know we powering the independence. Remember, man, the world needs visionaries. Be a visionary, all right? Peace. Uh, yeah. Enjoy Papers, hope. If you real, put your middle fingers up. Niggas try us, we gon' ride, we gon' bump.